Murder suspect Scott D'Angelo is scheduled to enter a plea today for an arson indictment. The 33-year-old is accused of stabbing his friend, Damon Cox, in the neck and setting Cox's Pearl City apartment on fire about a year ago. D'Angelo was already indicted for Cox's murder last year. That trial is set to begin in November. A grand jury indicted Samuel Jones for murder and arson in connection with Monday's death of Laau Jordan Laulusa. Uh, Jones was arrested last week shortly after Laulusa's body was found in a charred car parked on the Mililani High School campus. Court records say that she had lacerations to her neck and puncture wounds to her armpit. Witnesses reported seeing Jones gathering items from the car and then walking away. His preliminary hearing is set for today in court. On Kauai, police have arrested a suspect in a hit-and-run crash in Oma'o that left a bicyclist in critical condition. 45-year-old Kib Ho'opi'i of Kapa'a was allegedly behind the wheel of the truck that hit the cyclist from behind on Kamuali'i Highway Friday afternoon. The victim is a 65-year-old woman. She was medevaced to Oahu and was last reported to be in critical condition. Ho'opi'i was arrested on multiple charges, including reckless driving and first-degree negligent injury. His bail is set at $100,000. Happening today, lane closures. Those will be in place along Kapilani Boulevard from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. The Department of Transportation will be installing speed bumps on both sides of the intersection of Kapilani and Kamake'e Street. Officials say that this will better protect pedestrians after Sauriara was hit and killed there. The project is expected to be completed by Thursday. Changes are coming to a busy Waikiki intersection after a lot of complaints. Starting today, drivers headed Makai on Holbron Lane will be able to make a right turn onto Ala Moana Boulevard from the left lane. The Department of Transportation is also expanding the tollway zone on Holbron Lane. The DOT says that this will allow more vehicles to head west on Ala Moana Boulevard after installing an all-pedestrian crossing last November. Many drivers were frustrated by long backups happening at that intersection. The state installed no red turn on red signs at seven Ala Moana intersections last year, which cut down significantly on the crashes. Look for more showers to start to develop, especially between Wednesday and Thursday. But the thing that won't change very much, these corner winds running about 10 to 15, 10 to 20, that will lead to higher humidity levels, maybe even some fog and some haze. And then finally, come the weekend, the trade winds are expected back. And when that happens, things are going to be very, very nice. Although this, is, this isn't too shabby. It might be a little cloudy at times. And again, a few more showers coming in Wednesday and Thursday. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.